Hi, I'm CJ Abraham with Autodesk. Today we're going to be talking about why you shouldn't fear 5-axis. We're going to be using Inventor HSM to program the Haas UMC 750SS behind me, so let's jump into it. Here's the part that we're going to be programming. It's got lots of features at different angles, and so this could take a lot of effort to program on a regular 3-axis mill. Reducing the number of setups will allow us to increase our accuracy, as well as reduce our programming and machine setup time. Here's the set of tools that we're going to be using. There's a dovetail cutter to prepare the stock, a face mill, and a roughing and finishing end mill. Using the probe included with the machine, we can quickly and easily set all the lengths of our tools. Also, we'll be using a vise specifically designed for 5-axis use that lifts the part off the table and gives us access to all sides. Programming the Haas UMC 750 is made easy through the use of dynamic work offsets, which allows you to place the part anywhere on the table and still cut the same part without reposting the program. The machine knows where the center of rotation is and keeps track of the location of your work offset for you in the background. Let's start with a pocket on top of the part. I'm going to select my tool, then I'll select the geometry, and then generate my toolpath. Easy enough. Now let's do the same thing on the side of the part. I'll use the same tool, turn on tool orientation so I can select my Z face, then select my geometry, and generate my toolpath. Simple as that. After adding a couple of operations, I can use the simulate tool to verify my toolpath. I can make sure that the tool is doing exactly what I want it to, and I can also use the stock verification to make sure that there's no gouges against the model or collisions with the stock or the fixture. The simulation didn't detect any collisions, so let's post our operations by selecting the setup, clicking post process, and selecting the UMC 750 post included with our software. We can save it anywhere we like, and then the code will open up in our editor. Now we're ready to transfer the code to the machine. 